before I start this video, I want to ask you to support me by subscribing to my channel. And please like this video if you find it helpful. And of course, if you have some questions or suggestions, welcome to the comments. And we jump right in. Hi everyone! In today's video, we'll dive deep into understanding Doctrine ORM. I already have some basic tutorials on how to use Doctrine ORM and Symfony, and the link to source will appear in the top right corner. But today our focus is on gaining a deeper understanding of this technology. Let's get started. What is Doctrine ORM? Doctrine ORM or Object Relational Mapper is a library that helps developers manage the database in PHP applications by abstracting the database interactions into objects. It follows the data mapper pattern, allowing developers to map database tables to PHP classes and rows to instances of source classes. This enables interactions with the database through objects rather than row SQL. Key benefits of Doctrine ORM Object Relational Mapping Bridges the gap between object-oriented programming and relational databases by allowing developers to work with PHP objects instead of raw SQL or database rows. Provides a seamless way to persist, retrieve and manipulate data without writing SQL queries manually. Automatic SQL generation Automatically generates SQL statements for CRUD, create, read, update, and delete operations. Minimizes the need to write boilerplate SQL code, letting developers focus on business logic. Cross-platform compatibility. Compatible with a wide range of database systems like MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite, Microsoft SQL Server, and more makes it easier to switch databases without significant code changes as the database-specific SQL is abstracted. Migration support Built-in tools for managing database schema changes over time using migrations. Tracks schema differences and generates migrations files that can be applied to update the database schema consistently across environments. Reusable and testable code Encourages separation of concerns by decoupling data access logic from business logic. Makes code easier to test and maintain. Efficient querying with DQL the Doctrine Query Language, or DQL, allows querying entities in an object-oriented way, making queries more readable and maintainable. Custom Repository Support Developers can create custom repositories to encapsulate complex query logic, improving code organization and reusability. Eager and Lazy Loading Supports fetching related data when needed, lazy loading, or in advance, eager loading, optimizing performance for different use cases. Unit of work. Tracks changes to entities and batches updates in source and deletes, reducing the number of database calls and improving performance. Extensibility. Provides hooks and events to extend functionality, making it possible to customize behavior without altering the core library. These benefits make Doctrine ORM a powerful tool for managing relational database in PHP applications, especially for complex systems that require scalability and maintainability. Key components and features. First, Entity Manager. The central hub for managing the life cycle of entities, including persisting, finding, and removing them from the database. Second, Entities. These PHP classes represent database tables with their properties mapped to the table's columns. Third, Repositories. Optional classes that provide a more convenient interface 
for interacting with entities, offering methods for finding entities based on specific criteria. Fourth, Database Abstraction Layer, or DBAL, provides a unified API for interacting with various database systems such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQLite. Fifth, Mapping. The process of defining how PHP objects relate to database tables. Doctrine uses annotations or XML configuration to establish these ma mappings. Six, unit of work. A pattern that keeps track of all changes made to objects within a transaction. This allows you to group multiple operations into a single transaction, ensuring data consistency. 7. Query Builder A flexible tool for constructing complex SQL queries programmatically without having to write raw SQL. 8. DQL or Doctrine Query Language A SQL-like language for querying objects directly. 9. Migrations A system for managing changes to your database schema over time. Doctrine can automatically generate SQL statements to update your database based on changes to your entities. How does it work? First, mapping. Defining entities. You create PHP classes that represent your database tables. So the mapping process defines how PHP classes and properties correspond to database tables and columns. This process can be achieved in different ways. Annotations – Attributes in PHP 8 Define the mapping and XML files, YML mapping and PHP mapping. In Symfony, attributes are the most commonly used method for mapping entities. Doctrine attributes are used to define how an entity maps to a database table. Let's look on example. So, ORM entity marks the class as an entity. ORM table specifies the name of the corresponding database table. ORM column defines the properties of the entity and their corresponding database columns. ORM ID and ORM generated value marks the column as a primary key and indicates that the, its value should be auto-generated. Persistence Saving an entity When you call Entity Manager and its persist method, Doctrine analyzes the changes made to this current object. Change Tracking Doctrine keeps track of changes to the object's properties. SQL generation. Based on the changes, Doctrine generates the appropriate SQL statements, for example, insert, update, and so on. Database execution. The entity manager executes the generated SQL statements against the database. Retrieval. Finding entities. You use methods like this to retrieve specific entities by their primary key. Criteria queries. You can use Entity Manager to create more complex queries based on various criteria. Querying. For complex queries, you can use the Query Builder, which provides a fluent interface for programmatically building SQL queries. A link to the relevant video will appear in the top right corner shortly. Or can be used DQL, Doctrine Query Language, SQL-like language for querying objects directly. Migrations Tracking changes Doctrine keeps track of changes made to your entity classes, uh, for example, adding new properties or changing column types, and so on. Generating SQL Based on these changes, Doctrine generates SQL statements to update your database schema. For example, if you add a new column to an entity, Doctrine can generate an SQL statement 
to add that column to the corresponding database table. Apply migrations. You can then apply these generated SQL statements to your database to keep it in sync with your entities. Unit of work and what are the persist and flush methods? Doctrine RM uses the unit of work pattern to efficiently manage the state of entities and their changes. The entity manager in Doctrine is built around this pattern, allowing it to track all operation on entities within a single transaction and minimize the number of database queries. Let's look at how the persist and flush methods work in these contexts. The persist method. The persist method is used to mark an entity as managed, which means Doctrine will track all changes to this entity and prepare it for saving to the database when the flush method is called. How it works with unit of work. When you call persist method, Doctrine adds the entity to the unit of works, but does not immediately perform any database queries. The entity is marked for later saving. The entity could be new and needs to be inserted into the database or already existing and needs to be updated. In any case, it will be tracked by unit of work, which keeps track of its state. The flush method. The flush method executes all changes accumulated in the unit of work. When you call flush, Doctrine generates the necessary SQL queries, insert, update, delete, and execute them in the database. How it works with unit of work. Flush applies all changes that were marked with persist as well all changes made to entities loaded from the database. This allows a group of operations to be executed within a single transaction, ensuring atomicity and reducing the number of database queries. So, today we have explored the basics of Doctrine ORM, its key features and how it works with an PHP application. We learned about the core concept of object relational mapping ORM, how Doctrine abstracts database operations and the powerful tools it offers such as automatic SQL generation, migrations and query building. We also dove into the unit of work pattern and how methods like persistent flush help manage entity states efficiently. And for now this concludes our overview of Doctrine RM. And thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoy this video and see you next time.